watch. Uh, Jason Allen is in Port Arthur for us now. Jason, uh, how are the conditions where you are this morning? Set the scene for us there. Sure, Ken, and this is much like you would expect a normal late August morning to be right now. We're at the convention center in Port Arthur. It's one of the last hours here for people to evacuate from the area. We'll talk more about that in a second, but the sun is out. It's overcast, but there are sections of blue sky here. It is breezy. I wouldn't say quite windy yet, but we know what's coming. And we started our morning in Galveston. Let's give you a look at what the conditions were like when we left the coast earlier this morning. Galveston is starting to see the first signs this morning that there is a storm out there. The wind is blowing. It's breezy, though not hard. And now we're starting to get some rain from some of those first pop-up showers. You can see there's almost nobody out. And as you look over at the ocean, the surf is building, although not to the point where there's any significant erosion or anything pushing up against the seawall. As quiet and empty as it is in most cities in the storm's path, there are always people who stay. And we talked to some of them today who told us their properties have made it through big storms in the past, and they expected that they would be fine in this one as well. I was here for Imelda. We did 48 inches. We did not get flooded. They were running airboats in this neighborhood right here during Imelda. I woke up to airboats. I don't expect it to be that bad this time, but all our neighbors are boarded up and we're ready. In Winnie, the last bus carrying evacuees left this park just a few moments ago. This is a bus provided by the Texas Department of Emergency Management, and they are taking evacuees to Dallas, to San Antonio, to Austin. Because of COVID, things are different. People had to be spaced out. They couldn't take much with them, but they knew they did not want to be here to ride out this storm. That was the last bus that left Winnie this morning. As we come back out here live in Port Arthur, we understand there's about an hour left for people to come here to this convention center. They're coming inside, they're bringing a bag, a suitcase. Some of them have their, their, uh, their, their dogs with them and they're all getting onto these buses. And I think we can see if Jake pans over, there is a big line of buses, probably uh, more than a dozen, maybe 15 of them still that are all lined up here. These are the buses that people are gonna get on to go back up to North Texas, some of the cities to the West uh, and be there for the duration of this storm. Again, as you see the conditions here right now, don't seem serious, but we know as Annalise was talking about that the storm surge is coming. Those heavy winds are just off the coast and conditions, of course, are expected to deteriorate throughout the day. Live in Port Arthur this morning, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. Yeah, it'll get there before you know it. Uh, Jason, you and uh, Jake, your photojournalist, stay safe out there. Thank you. We're going to check in with you throughout the day.